My name is Matt Atkinson and I look after behaviour and safeguarding at Bingley Grammar School, otherwise known as character and culture. In terms of what my role entails, we focus on keeping children safe in education 2020, and in particular one key bullet point, taking action to enable all children to have the best outcomes possible. So when your son or daughter comes to Bingley Grammar School, that is our imperative action. Within that, we have an extensive team to support, ranging from the head of year to the senior um, assistant head teachers. Within that, it's all about keeping the children safe. And we have a strap line that goes alongside that. This year, for example, it's working together to support each other to stay safe and be consistent in all that we do. And by having that, your son or daughter has something to work towards throughout the year. In turn, the head of year, Mrs Adele Roberts, supports with that and supports the personal development of students in year seven. This can be through one-to-one -one support, liaising with the leadership team about set moves, classes, tutor group moves to make sure your child is happy here at Bingley Grammar School. The other person within that team is Anita Faunch, an absolute mainstay of the team and she is there day to day for yet again for that one-to-one -one support. Mrs Faunch works with the students at break times, lunch times, one-to-one -one small focus groups focusing on transition to start with, making sure they feel settled and secure here at Bingley Grammar School. But it's not just these two members of staff that will be working with your son and daughters. There's a wider team. For example, Emily Rawling. She has expertise in mental health and well-being, LGBTQ, domestic violence. We have Brian Padden, our senior student support officer, who looked after children, who is an advocate for working with children with adverse childhood experiences and how that can impact a child here at Bingley Grammar School. It's about ensuring all feel safe and secure with a team around them. Encapsulating this is the role of the tutor. Every day, your son or daughter will have contact with that tutor. They'll check in in the morning and ready to learn, make sure they've got the right equipment, make sure they're ready for the day. And if they're not, they get in contact with Mrs Funch, Mrs Roberts, and basically outline any concerns, and they can be picked up later on just to make sure they're okay and that they're settling in okay here at Bingley Grammar School. Also, the tutor delivers PSHCE and LORIC, another mainstay of the transition here to Bingley Grammar School. So essentially, that team is here if there's something to celebrate, through end of term assemblies, through dropping into lessons, making sure they're okay. It could be that your child is late for school and it could be something to do with the buses. That team can work with them to help support them finding the right bus route to get to here on time. And finally, it could be to do with friendship issues. Because within transition, that does happen, but we've got a team to support that. They get to meet so many new people and it's about working together to ensure that they're safe and happy and know how to relate to one another. Moving on, why is this important? Well, I've talked about your son or daughter coming here and it's very much like when you're a parent, just like me, you choose your godparents or you put an aunt and an uncle in front of a name and you choose them for a reason. And also, I always make this personal because I chose these people to be part of my life and to look after my son. One of them's a state agent. One of them works in cars. I don't have a clue about cars. One of them's a teacher. One of them's a yoga instructor. All bring different things. Much like you sending your child to here, there's a team that will be able to give them different experiences and different aspects. And this will enable us to take action to get the best possible outcomes. So that's the team, but there's also other ways we do it. For example, LORIC and PSHCE. LORIC stands for Leadership, Organisation, Resilience, Initiative and Communication. Key skills we believe your son and daughter need to flourish in Bigney Grammar School and when they leave. Within LORIC, we split it into different challenges. For example, a sponsored walk for Year 7 to raise money for the BRI. Another aspect could be initiative. To think about bringing new friends into their friendship group, supporting one another. And from this, they get certificates. And from this, they then get badges. And at the very end, they get a LORIC tie. And it shows staff and students 
the dedication that your son or daughter has got here at Bingley Grammar School to succeed. And finally, what will this achieve? Well, it's developing those key skills I talked about throughout this presentation. It will be helping your child settle into Bingley Grammar School so that they feel cared for, they have that nurture and that compassion from staff. And overall, we want to make sure that your child achieves the best possible outcomes academically, but also socially and emotionally too. And therefore, I hope you do choose being the grammar school for your son or daughter in the future.